Hello guys, uh, today we're going to learn how to install Python setup tools pipe and virtual env in, in a Windows environment. Okay, we'll start by going to python.org to download the latest version of Python, of course. We do it by clicking here. I've already done that, so I'm just going to install it right away. Okay, it's done. We need to use PowerShell. So if you're using Windows XP, you need to download it. And you can easily do it by just Google Windows XP PowerShell. And the first. Search it. Okay, and you just download it. I've already done that, so I do not need to do it again. Uh, then we go to start, run, and type PowerShell. Run it. And now we're gonna go to the, the PowerShell directory, and I think it is this. Ah, oh, stupid English keyboard. Ah, oh, so. Uh, the version okay now we're gonna run this line but I will be oh that I will add it in the description uh, this changes the path of Python uh, you copy it right click and paste and then you just hit enter or enter as you say uh, now we need to reset our computer, so let's do that. Okay, we're back. Uh, let's go to this, the description again. Now I use this document. Copy this line with the setup tools. Uh, open Chrome. I prefer Chrome. Copying the link. Just right click, save. I'm a Swede, so it said spot or some. Let's put it in uh, C. Let's download. Shit, that was slow. Let's get pipe two. Let me save it in C. Make it close leaves. Uh, let's open PowerShell. Navigate to C. Uh, now you see that we have our two files here. So let's run them in Python. Python. You can just type the first letter of the file and, gen and then just hit tab and run it. Let's do the same thing with the other file. Now we have pipe and setup tools installed. Uh, the next thing we need to do is to install uh, virtual env. We can do it easily by just typing pipe in install virtual env and if you in the future want to run virtual env from a PowerShell you probably need to set uh, execution policy uh, remote signed and you simply do it by just typing set 
and you're done thank you guys for watching I, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial uh, the next tutorial I will make uh, will cover how to create a Django project in a Windows environment bye